big walleye, huge walleye. Oh my <laughs> God, Ray. Yeah, my hand's tired already. We can't catch a bike, we can catch a couple of lows. This is great. Nice walleye, bud. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home, I guess. <laughs> oh, buddy. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Nothing works harder than a Ram. Stearns, trusted on the water since 1952. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. Today's episode brings us back to the province of Alberta. Surprising to us, as I'm sure it is to a lot of our audience, it's home to some of the biggest pike we've ever caught on Fish in Canada. Boy, that's a pretty darn good pike right there. Like last year, for example, with the Cooper Tire Boys. Now that's what I call a catch. We caught several 45 to 50 plus inch pike. <laughs> what a day of fishing. <laughs> Proportions usually associated with the Northwest Territories or Alaska. Those memories are still fresh in my mind and I'm excited at the prospect of bagging some more. On this trip, we're going to concentrate on Pinehurst Lake, which is about a half an hour drive from the town of Lac La Biche. It's one of a number of great fishing lakes in the Lakeland Provincial Recreation Area in Alberta. With all of our past fishing experiences in this great province, I can't wait to hit it. With hopes so high and from unbelievable past fishing experiences, it's almost a disappointment if you don't get a fish on the first few casts. Ange and I have learned from experience this just isn't so, but it's always fun to be cranked up. I'm fishing today with Ray Colrus, Alberta guide extraordinaire, who concentrates on the Athabasca River, Northern Alberta, the Edmonton area, as well as the lakes around Lac La Biche. Talk to me, Ray. I don't know what it is. It's a scrapper. That's about it. <laughs> I'm hoping it, it gets off. Dislodges. Yeah. Come on, get off. I got one too. I know it's a pike. Yeah. Wow, did he ever eat that? Look at you. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh, there it come out. That's practically a double header. But I don't want to tell anybody I caught this one, so it's just you got the one, okay? It's a single header. <laughs> oh, I think you're already. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been combusted? Yeah. Well, yours seems thicker than mine, so you could be proud of that. Deer flies. Killed a deer fly in the process. Caught a pike, killed a deer fly. Okay. From the get go, starting with weed beds and weedy shorelines and casting a variety of pike baits, we're getting hits, but all the pike are small. This can be a typical experience on pretty much any lake, as usually the bigger fish are tucked into the absolute best locations, which is normally less than 5% of a lake. The walleye, on the other hand, are surprisingly smacking these bigger baits with aggression. And these fish are very good quality. Nice, buddy. But we're not here for the walleye, or so we thought. Yeah, my hand's tired already. Well, you know what? If we can't catch a pike, we can catch a couple of lows. Nice walleye, bud. Whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> you got the walleye. Oh. It pooped on you. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, the walleye. Uh, that's funny. Nice. See, you, 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 they just have a little payback. Somehow they'll either cut you, or bite you, or poop on you. Yeah. One most, of the three. Most times they will. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put her back now. Nice. Nice fish, buddy. Thank you for washing the two. I'm telling you what, Alberta has got some fantastic walleye fish, I have to say. Yeah, we can find the walleye to find the pike. How was that? The walleye shows us where the bait is, and then the pike, they just show up because they're pigs. <laughs> if you think that didn't feel big, that felt like a little goomba. But that feels better. Oh my, I like the feel of that. That's probably that pike. Okay, you got some action. <laughs> <laughs> we got some action. Yeah. Wow, he's staying down like a nice walleye, isn't he? But yeah. he's too, it just feels too big for a walleye. There it is. It's a big walleye, walleye. huge walleye. Oh there my go, God, Pete. Ray. 
<laughs> oh, <buddy. laughs> and he ate it too. Look at the size of that walleye. Oh my god. Take it to gosh. you and get you the pliers. Oh my god, buddy. Is this a 10 pounder? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Sure it is. Yeah. What a fish. Just open it up. Look at. Oh, did he ever torque that nice? Easy, girl. There we go. Beautiful. Buddy. Let me get rid of the net for you, Pete. I'll, I'll take that anytime, Pike Fishing. <laughs> Beautiful. Raymond, buddy, get up here. All right. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Yeah. You want to put it back? You want me to put it back? Go ahead. Thanks, buddy. Do Mike. the honors. Buddy, good call on this point, my friend. Good call. That's a, you know what, folks? That's not the longest walleye in the world, but that's a fatty. That's Look over eight. Humble. Look at that. Humble yeah. That. That's over eight pounds for sure. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> the way it goes. <laughs> Wow. Well, I guess if you're going to have a substitute for a pike, that's the one you want right there. Yeah. Isn't it? Since fishing for pike close to shore wasn't working out, my next thought is to look for offshore structure. To give you an idea of these upsized baits we're using, we're starting with three quarter to one ounce jig heads, which alone is very hefty. And then we're adding a giant curly tail, six inches long, and as thick as a three quarter inch piece of pipe. This bait is pretty standard for pike, but for walleye, it seems ridiculous, but then who am I to judge? Set that hook, Ray. <laughs> Let's see, he's pulling nice though. He's got the head shakes, you know it's a walleye. Yeah. It's oh, a yeah, thick, average. thick, nice walleye. Yep. Yeah. And there's no live bait allowed in this lake, right? You're there's... allowed to use dew worms and oh, yeah? stuff like that. No live minnows then? No live minnows. Salted minnows you can use? Yeah. Yeah, any of artificials, of course. But... Yes. Can you handle them, buddy? You need me in there? I... Um, <laughs> You're good. I got her. <laughs> nice. The underwater structure we found is pretty big in size. When I fish an area like this, I realize it can sometimes take hours to map out properly. I make multiple passes and drifts, always watching my depth finder as well as my chart for weeds, boulders, brake lines, and of course, fish. Oh, oh, has some weight there. I told Pete. you, buddy. Look at the size of that silly looking piece of junk. Whoa, that's yep. a walleye. Yep. That's a Walter. That didn't take much. And we're you just dropped 28 it. 28 feet here. Oh, that might be big then. Maybe it is a piker. It's fighting like a walleye though, isn't it? Yes, it is. But 28 feet makes me, uh, it makes me excited. That's a decent walleye. Yeah, decent. Want to net him? Um, I think I'll... Uh, you handle them? Yeah, I'll handle them. Okay. Nice little fish here on Pinehurst. Not bad, eh? Yeah. Drop right down on the sand. Yeah, drop it right down. Don't get cut in the process, right? <laughs> Look at him go. I just got, uh, got soaked. You got to cool me down here. <laughs> yep, yep. Got him. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. Bigger? Oh yes. I thought so. This one's oh, holding. Oh, yeah. It's holding down, Pete. I'm liking that, buddy. Unless I fouled hook it, but otherwise it's... It's a giant. It's a good one. Yeah. It, unless it's fouled hook, but I don't think no, it is. No, you bit too nice. It looked yeah. like a too perfect a scenario. I know this is a netter, no matter what color it is. Well, he just hung on good, eh? He hung yeah. on tough. There that you go, bud. A... That's a great walleye right there. Here, put him on top of that seat right there. Perfect. Popped nice. out too. Popped out. Perfect. <laughs> You've been here before, haven't you? Yeah, uh, nice Done one. Seen. Oh, we got a little chunk on the side yeah. of them there, an old chunk on the side of them. Good fish, Ray. Man, these things are just, wow. Vintage Alberta walleye, right there. Look at them. Today's hotspot is a tapering underwater point on Pinehurst Lake in Alberta. The waypoint on your screen will get you there. 
This spot is known for both pike and some really big walleye. It's a classic piece of structure that holds fish all year long. Try either casting and slowly working a jig like Ray and I did, or trolling a walleye style crankbait and varying the depth of each pass until fish contact is made. Don't be afraid to run a crankbait designed to dive 10 to 12 feet down in 20 plus feet of water, as these fish will sometimes suspend in the water column. For more hot spots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. Yeah, Net worthy? Don't know yet, buddy. It's a bait casting gear. It's different. It doesn't feel like a pike. Some like big storm clouds in the background like that. Storm is is bypassing us. The the air temperature has definitely dropped minimum five degrees, eh Ray? Yeah. At it's least. like it's feeling cool right now. I got a good hook set on him, but I thought he's feeling good. It's a nice one. Netter? Oh yeah. This is a netter. Look at the size of that walleye. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 it has some weight there, I told feet. you, buddy. And oh, there's your hook. Thank you. Look at the size of that silly looking piece of junk. We're thinking we're going to throw them for big pike and drop them down. And here's the results of what we get. Fish like that. Wow. Open my eyes, buddy. It's, my eyes are open to use the bigger stuff for, you know, you're in a combination area or you're walleye fishing. Yeah. Why not try? I, I have a feeling if we went smaller, we'd get big pike because yeah. this is crazy. Look at that fish. What a gorgeous fish. Man, not real stocky. You know, I mean, thick across the back or anything like that, but just a perfect looking walleye. Wow. Put him back. See you, buddy. See you, big mama. Nice. This is great. To get to today's awesome walleye and pike fishing, I first flew from Toronto to Edmonton, Alberta. From there, I picked up a ram and drove northeast on Road 28. I next turned north on Road 36 to the town of Lac La Biche, and then on to my fantastic accommodations at the BCM Inn. My end fishing destination was about a 20 minute drive to Pinehurst Lake in the Lakeland Provincial Recreation Area. With just a few hours left to go, all the big walleye I figured we could handle, and being the knuckle dragger that I am, I still need to catch that big pike. The only thing we haven't done is troll. So Ray and I decided to make a run over some of the deeper structures that we've been jigging for the last few hours, and now have a pretty good idea of the contours and features. If the walleye are hugging the bottom, then maybe the pike are suspended. And this time, we're gonna pull baits so big that the Canadian record walleye won't tangle with them. Actually, I take that back out here. We decided we wanna catch a big pike, and we wanna, we couldn't get them with the big jigs, so we did a trolling pass. And you know what, the first pass, this is, I don't know how big it is, it feels half decent though, Ray. Look at him come up with the serve. Oh, he's a good one, Ray. Yeah. He's a good one. Yeah, there's the net. He slammed that big, ugly red bait you had in your box. <laughs> oh, well, he's pulling good, boys. Now he's Woo. weak again. You know, when you when you smack something in 32 feet of water with a bait that goes down about 10 or 12, that's oh, it. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a nice pike. Best. Best pike so far, buddy. Hey, look at him coming in the top here. He's coming in the surface. <laughs> He's not huge, but he'll do for us when we're looking for a pike for now and then. Okay, maybe we got the right tactic down. The old jaw there, but it, it's it, it's get, looking bigger all the time, and it's coming in. <laughs> yeah, he's beefy, isn't he? Easy, girl. Don't spit her. Yeah. She's barely hooked. I know. Oh, we got more in him now. Yeah. I'm gonna bring him over to your net now, Ray. You got Bingo! Finally, it's the first and only big pike of the trip. A very respectable fish as well. I love it. We can uh, start a trolling pass and we get a fish. Nice, buddy. <laughs> I love it. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, a good 15. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's solid, eh? It's solid. It. As soon as I set that hook, I could feel a good sized fish. It's solid, Pete. You lift it. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. <sighs> Luckily, the hooks came out. Nice. First pass, bud. 
Ooh. You know what? It's funny, eh? Just we, we've we've been pounding so many walleye on big pike baits and that, but not the way we on the bottom, and we're getting small pike. Looks like right here he has something in his gullet. Yeah. yeah. In his stomach That's a there. Belly. Okay, I'm gonna drop him back here. Big red. Okay, big red, buddy. Oh! <laughs> it almost broke my wrist. <laughs> I saw the water. I swear to God, I think fish, when you put them over the side of the boat, they see the water and they're ready, eh? They're just ready to yeah. go. Ah, well, I deserved that by holding him, you know what I mean? So he got me back. A little blood. Wow, nice, bud. Hey, we finally got at least a decent pike. Not a giant, yeah. but at least we got a decent pike. You know, we know, we know Pinehurst has got them, and we know the walleye stock in here is crazy, and the walleye are big, so that means they're eating good food. Let's try it again, bud. Why not? I suppose one could say better luck next year in terms of pike, but seriously, are you kidding me? This is one of the most successful walleye fishing trips ever. Best of all, I learned an important lesson. Using big baits to catch big fish isn't just for bass in Florida, lake trout and great bear, or late fall Georgian Bay muskies. It works so well on these western walleye that I will definitely be bringing that tactic back home. Today's KLP is P for presentation. We're on Pinehurst Lake here in Alberta, and it's known for walleye and pike. But we want to catch big pike, so we're going to upsize our bait to keep away walleye and small pike. But craziness happens out in the water. And this bait right here. Uh, a six inch mullet, usually used for big fish in the ocean. In the ocean, imagine that. We're dropping that here on Piner's Lake. The big pike aren't eating it, surprisingly, but the big walleye are killing it. Always think out of the box when you're on the water. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Sale, the Canadian outdoors superstore. Coleman, the outdoor company. Cooper Tires, life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. And Princecraft Boats, dominate the waters.